started actually in 39. And I was on my way to Wexford the morning. I heard the war broke out. I was going to see my aunt, the nun, she was in the convent there. And I remember being terrified hearing the word. We were at Britain was at war with Germany. I used to have to bury it for 12 months. To season it? Oh yes, to get the best out of it. And so forth. And generally what I do, you know, is top and time vinegar, the white of an egg. an open range at number eight Stanley and there was a pipe going up and lo and behold the next thing the pipe started and all the chat 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 and all talking I couldn't understand what was going on it was all in gibberish that's as I did some quail fellas here I better, I better skeet and if, I, I didn't think it go down the room where I sat over by the kitchen table and the next thing the kitchen table started shaking oh says I to myself I better move Yes, indeed. Uh, you must be fasting from midnight, be very modest and clean in dress, is what the Catechism said, and people adhere to that very, very, very rigidly, I can say, such that if they did lapse or if they had a drink of water or something like that, they wouldn't dare approach the altar, fearing that if they did, they'd be forever damned. got the phones. There was a number of us looking for the phone because at night, if you were in trouble, the phone would be very handy to phone a vet like. Eventually, the phone was put in to the post office to Mrs. Harrington and Jack Musgrave got number. No, she had number one, he got number two. I suppose we worked very hard really to get that hall up. We got money every way we could. We played cards and had all sorts of social things to try and make money to get it together. We had a good committee, I suppose. Some, some part in the rising 
all during the week. And at the end of it, he still was dressed in his good suit, which was still was, wasn't too dirty. And he had his little attache case. So he slips off, and his return ticket. <laughs> he slips off anyway, and gets out, and gets on a return boat, eventually back to England, and back to his job. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's true now. If I might say, I think Ballinhasic has been a good place to live. It is a good place to live. And I hope that cool of there that it will remain for many, many years ahead.